it is episode 25 of the daily vlog um this is the filming this on a thursday and so it's uh, later in the week um and i spent this morning at the chiropractor because i'm old but i feel great now um i was thinking a little bit about um, kind of related to the chiropractor uh, what I found out going there is uh, I had some problems with my shoulder and I thought I did something working out in, in my back it turns out uh, sitting here doing this drawing um, for years and years um, kind of aggravates that shoulder and sitting in this chair which the best $4 uh, $5 investment I ever made was one of these little lumbar support things to go on this chair uh, but this chair and drawing are more hazardous to my health than apparently working out and sparring and all that other stuff that I do. Um, <clears throat> but I mentioned yesterday I had something I want to talk about. This isn't yet because I still don't remember what that was. Um, I did want to talk about what do you do when your hobby becomes your career? Um, because I used to, and people say, what do you do for fun? I'd say draw. And I used to, and, I, and I play music too. I mean, you can have a you can probably see the piano and stuff um, but drawing was kind of the go-to thing and I would say drawing well now it's my job so and I still draw for fun but I, really the question what people mean is what do you do when you're not doing the thing that you do all the time um, and I think it's important that you have something to do uh, that's drastically different from what you normally do like um, I got this book for Christmas. It's actually by Winston Churchill. Um, painting as a pastime. I don't know if most people are aware that he, later in life, even when he was, I think he was probably still prime minister, but um, he would paint. He did all, I mean, he wrote books on like history and all this other stuff. He was a nonstop force of nature, but uh, he writes in this and he makes a good point that, you know, if, you, if you're if you a person who's a, um, like works with, building things like you're a laborer and you're building houses and whatever that to tell that person to relax come play sports is probably not different enough to really be you know let them rest um and the person is using their intellect like a, for a professor or something all the time here do this other intellectual thing um it's not different enough to be a pastime to be to kind of rejuvenate and stuff um <clears throat> so I, I think there's a lot of truth in that. Uh, I found that the more I draw, because working in comics, you spend, I mean, I've read, I, try, I don't think it has to be this way, but you do, you do work a lot, right? It's, it's, um, it takes time to, to, a lot more time to make a comic book than I think most people realize. Um, so I, I know people that have, you know, they complain that they never get a day off. They work, you know, Saturdays and Sundays. So I don't do that unless I have to. Um, you got to maintain a sense of proportion um, and uh, have that rhythm of work and rest. Otherwise, you will just burn out. It's not worth it. Um, but two, in addition to that, you need to have something in your life that's different, radically different. And the, I think the number one thing is just exercise. Um, whether you're getting into martial arts, like I got into Krav Maga and sparring and stuff, and it's so different from what I do normally that it, one, gets me out of this chair and just physically, if you're going to sit for a long period of time, you need to be doing something physical to, uh, and my cat is making the most horrific noise because I think she has Alzheimer's. I don't know if you can hear that, that is horrific. Um, but if you can, um, that totally broke my train of thought. And I'm going to upload this anyway because it's just the daily vlog. Uh, but it needs to be radically different. And something physical like exercise or a sport or something will go a long way to fighting the, um, the just, just the physical toll that sitting and drawing and these small movements you do. Um, also mentally it does something like it because you get into a rut looking at images and doing the same thing day after day. And if you can do something just to kind of... Uh, physical to get your your um your your brain kind of refocused uh too i found like even when i, I know that i was on a deadline not too long ago and uh i had to stop because uh, do some housework and i spent the whole day pressure washing the house 
which sounds horrible, but it's so different than what I do that I actually kind of enjoyed it. Um, at the end of the day, it's like, man, I'm tired, but it was, it, 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 I'm not, that's not something I do all the time. So it was, it wasn't excruciating, but find something that's different from, from what you do full time. Um, and, and it gets tricky for, for artists because we're, we got into art because that was kind of our pastime and it became an obsession. You know, you make a living at it. You've got to replace that. Uh, you need to be more well-rounded. Otherwise you'll burn out. So try to develop other interests. Um, and especially reading is a reading is a good one too. Um, just read. I, I, I'm, um, if you read things other than just comics, and read. I know history. History is really good, um, and just just for kind of broadening your mind, and you bring that stuff to your work eventually. So, um, just some thoughts on trying to uh, have something to do consistently as a hobby. Um, and for the artist, it probably needs to be something physical. Uh, just if you're going to maintain the the grind day in and day out for a long term. So speaking of which, back to work for me. I will see you all tomorrow.